Welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sam. We're going to be doing a yin practice to help with digestion. So if you're experiencing any kind of digestive discomfort or bloating, this will be a great practice for you. We're doing it in a yin style, so it's going to use a lot of props, going to be very restorative, very relaxing, and really just help to kind of massage those internal organs. We're gonna really focus on compressing and expanding so that we can really start to help a little bit of that movement along and to alleviate any of that discomfort that you might be feeling. So as I mentioned, you will need a lot of props. I have some cushions available. I also have behind me here a blanket, a yoga blanket, and a bolster, which we are going to be using. Optional props for you today are one block and then also a strap. So we're really using all of these props to help us be very comfortable. So use whatever you have around the house that you know is really just gonna help support you in your practice. The first prop that we're going to use is the block. And again, this is optional, so you don't necessarily need it. You could also put a cushion in place of this block as well. And it's going to start lying down on your back. And if you are using your block or your cushion, you're gonna place it right underneath your tailbone, right underneath those hips. Just centering myself on the mat. And then you're gonna stretch your left leg out underneath you, bringing your right leg in towards your chest. And this may feel like a fairly intense stretch in the front of your left hip flexor. So you gauge how close you wanna pull that knee into your, into your chest here. And you can keep your eyes open or closed. This is a yin practice, so we are not engaging any muscles here. We're allowing gravity to do most of the work really just relaxing into the mat and into the block. So we're not engaging any muscles through the left leg. The only real engagement or force that you need to utilize is just through the arms to just lightly guide that leg in closer to your chest. And so I love to focus on my breath in yin kind of adds an additional meditative quality to this practice. So if you ever find throughout this class that your mind is wandering, just gently bring your attention back to your breathing. Notice that inflow and outflow of breath. And I like to imagine as well in Yin that I'm breathing into the area of focus. So today we're focusing on digestion and relieving some of that discomfort. So maybe you're focusing on really expanding and contracting the abdomen. Feel that you're compressing your belly slightly by pulling that right leg into your chest. And we're gonna be here for another couple of minutes, so just allow yourself to settle, focusing on your breath.
and then very gently with control lower your right leg back down onto the floor and we're gonna switch legs right away so stretching your right leg out this time maybe you need to readjust your block or maybe you're all set and then just bringing your left knee into your chest again easing into it here so don't go to your full your maximum stretch right away here allow yourself to ease into the stretch and again letting gravity do a lot of the work for you so because we're holding this for such a long time we don't want to go to that maximum right away we're using that time to gently get deeper into the stretch and just like we did on the first side focusing on the breath focusing on that abdomen expanding and contracting taking another three minutes here And again, gently and with control, lowering your left leg to the mat. We're gonna shift off of the block or the cushion, whatever it was you were using, and we can just totally throw it off to the side. We won't need it again. Coming up to a seated position now. Stretching both of your legs out in front of you. We're going to come into a caterpillar stretch or a forward fold here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bolster with the blanket on top just for a little bit of extra cushion. But again, if you don't have a bolster, you can always use a pillow or a really nice thick blanket. Use whatever you've got around the house. 
and just set it out in front of you between your legs and you're just gonna very gently allow yourself to fold over those legs it's really important here in this pose that we remember not to go to our maximum right away that we're allowing the force of gravity to pull us further into the stretch as time goes on so really find that that place for you remember that we're not engaging through the legs at all you can let your knees relax your ankles relax And just fold and be soft. Again, we'll be here for another three minutes. So get comfortable focusing on the breath.
we've been here for a while, so to come out of this one, use your hands to help guide your body back up to a seated position. Feel that nice, long, tall spine. We'll move the bolster out of the way. Coming into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So bending your knees in, and we're gonna, you're gonna have to use your hands a little bit to shift your hips forward. Your heels are in, toes are out. So you're almost in like an open first position, you could say here. And you're gonna take your hands, bring the palms, push them together to allow the elbows to push the knees open a little bit further here. So this motion really is the only effort that we need here. You wanna fully relax into your hip flexors, relax into your heels. If this feels um, not quite accessible today, you can always put a block underneath your hips just to aid a little bit with the opening of that hips, just so you can close that gap and feel comfortable. Most importantly here, you wanna feel that we're creating a little bit of compression in the front of the abdomen with your legs in close to your chest. So as we settle into this posture to hold for a few minutes, just really focus on the breath and that expansion and compression in your belly as you breathe. So creating almost like that internal massage.
one to come out of this one. Release your hands first. You can bring them out in front of you towards the top of the mat. And we're going to make our way onto our belly. So nice and slowly. There's no rush. Just making your way down. And then for our next pose, it's going to require a little bit of setup. So just so I have enough space here, I'm going to move my bolster totally out of the way. And I'm actually going to use a pillow for this one for under my head, nice and comfy. And I'll do the left side first, just so that you can see what's happening. But I'm putting this blanket on the floor here because you're going to bend your knee up beside you. So we're almost in like a half frog position. So again, we're opening up the hips a little bit here and also creating a little bit of compression on the left side of your body. And then I'm just using the pillow to cushion my head and you want to turn your head to face the same side as your knee that's lifted. So we're looking towards the left as well. Again, getting comfortable here. And then once you've found that comfortable position for yourself, just resolving to be totally still, experiencing those sensations through your body, Again, focusing on the breath and what's nice about these prone positions lying on your belly is that you can really feel that breath coming in and out, that expansion and compression. So take another few minutes and really focus in on that. And we'll come on out nice and slowly. Bringing your left leg back down to the side. Take your time to 
readjust. So bringing your blanket over to the other side, lifting that knee as high as you would like it. Again, turning your head to face the same direction as your lifted knee here. Take a moment to settle in, get comfy. And then resolving to be still and fully relaxed. Breathing deep into your belly. And slowly making your way out of the pose. Moving your cushion off to the side. We're gonna come into Sphinx pose from here. So coming up onto your elbows, finding a little bit of an arch through the back. The closer your elbows are to your body, the more intense the stretch. So if you'd like to make it a little bit easier, you can bring your elbows out in front of you. I'm gonna go kind of in between those two places for myself today. And 
This is a passive stretch, but you do wanna make sure that you're not sinking in through the shoulders. So there is a little bit of engagement through the arms to just push your shoulders away from your ears. So we still have a nice long neck here. So there will be a little bit of pressure in through your elbows as you push away from the floor. But you wanna keep your glutes relaxed. You wanna keep your hips relaxed, your back relaxed. So everything else is just sinking into gravity, increasing the stretch passively. And just like we did in those half frog positions, really feel your breath through your belly expanding and contracting against the floor. And we'll take another few minutes here. And to come out of this one, just walk your elbows forward slowly. Just allow your spine to straighten. We'll bring the hands into the shoulders. Push your hips back, finding a child's pose. I'm just gonna come to the center of my mat. For this child's pose, you want your knees to actually be totally together so that the spine is curving. And again, we're creating a little bit of compression for those internal organs. So just allow yourself to curve over those knees. I'm choosing to bring my hands back behind me, but if you wish, you can also have your arms out and extended, totally up to you. We are gonna take another few minutes here. Again, feel that breath, that expansion. And try to imagine that with every exhale, your hips are sinking lower towards the floor and towards your heels.
And again, using your hands this time to come on out nice and slowly. We're gonna make our way onto our backs, just like how we started class. And we're gonna make our way into a reclined shoelace pose. So to do that, you're gonna take your right thigh and cross it over the left. And then from this position, pulling your thighs in towards your chest. And you have a little bit of an option here. You can grab the outsides of your heels to gently guide those heels a little bit in closer towards you and you'll feel a nice stretch towards the outside of the hips or again this is where a strap is optional so you can take that strap around your knees and gently just pull them in a little bit closer to your chest for myself I prefer to just grab the feet but a strap is a really good option if that's something you'd like to try you can go ahead and do that as well. We are gonna be here for four minutes total, so whatever option you choose, make sure it's one that you know you can sustain. Again, we're creating some compression through the legs here. So really focus in on that breath in the abdomen. And now we're gonna, if you had your strap, release your strap to the side. And if you were holding your heels, you're gonna bring your left foot back down onto the mat and leave the cross of your legs. From here, just lift and shift your hips over to the right. Your arms can place themselves out towards the sides. And then you're gonna allow your knees to fall to the left as your gaze looks towards the right. So finding a twist here, you want to make sure that you are right shoulder stays on the floor so we're anchoring through the upper body and allowing the twist to happen really from the navel if the cross of the legs feels too much you can always uncross them 
and just let your knees fall to the left independently. I find this cross intensifies the twist really nicely. So do whatever works for you and once you've found a place to settle, resolving to be still. And to come out of this one, you'll need to engage the core slightly to bring those knees back to center. You're gonna uncross the legs, bring your hips back to center. And then we have reclined shoelace on the second side. So this time your left thigh crosses over the right, bringing those thighs in close towards you. And then again, either grabbing onto your heels or taking a hold of that strap. Do what works best for you. Settling in, getting comfortable, and breathing.
very gently releasing the heels or your strap and bring your right foot back down onto the mat, lifting the hips and shifting to the left this time, keeping the cross of your legs, arms out to the sides as your knees fall to the right, your eyes go towards the left. Again, feeling anchored through those shoulder blades, your left shoulder stays firmly pressing into the mat. Everything else is relaxed. Relaxing your core, relaxing your hip flexors, and just breathing. Again, powering up the core to bring those knees back up to center. Uncross the legs, recenter your hips. And from here, we're opening up into Shavasana. Our very last resting pose. So open your legs out to the edges of your mat. Your palms are facing up towards the sky. Collarbone is wide. It's really important in a yin practice to do Shavasana. Please don't skip it. It really just gives your body a chance to recalibrate and focus in on those changes after all of that work that we've just put in. And in this particular yin practice, let's focus in on any sensations that we might be feeling through the abdomen. If you were feeling bloated or discomfort at the beginning of this practice, how does that compare to this moment in Shavasana? Additionally, do you hear any, any noises? as 
digestion sort of kickstarts, or is everything rather quiet? This is where I will leave you today. Feel free to stay longer in Shavasana if you wish. Just be sure to come out of it slowly and mindfully. And I hope that this practice has given you a little bit of relief from any digestive issues you might have been experiencing. If so, please leave me a comment below and let me know about your experience. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you on the mat again very soon. Namaste.